Trout in the Classroom in New York. In 1997, Trout in the Classroom was started in New York through the efforts of the late Joan Stoller. Volunteers from Trout Unlimited and the Theodore Gordon Fly Fishers in 1997. Participating students from K through 12 learn the importance of water quality and connect with their watershed by raising trout from eggs to fingerlings and then replacing them in a clean cold stream in the spring. Since its inception, Trout in the Classroom in New York has grown from four classrooms to more than 200. The rapid growth is a testament to the program's adaptability effectiveness, and ability to enter students of all ages and backgrounds. The current commissioner is Amity Daniels. Throughout the year, students will monitor tank water quality, engage in stream habitat study, learn to appreciate water resources, begin to foster a conservation ethic, grow to understand ecosystems. And most programs end the year by releasing their trout in a state-approved stream near the school or within a nearby watershed. Our Trout in the Classroom leader is Mr. Andrews. This is Mr. Andrews' 10th year of doing Trout in the Classroom. Um, I've always been interested in fishing and trout in general, so I thought it'd be a neat program to bring to Butler uh, to have students have the opportunity to raise trout and have a different type of hands-on science experiment. Talking to people throughout the community, I think a lot of people enjoy it. A lot of people look forward to trying to get into the program and the, some of the experiences we give them. Uh, a lot of the teachers in different schools want to add to it, so uh, I think it's been a great program and very well received around Butler. Uh, we would like to extend it to other buildings in the district. We'd like to go to the middle school, we'd like to go to the high school and, and give students a, a greater opportunity to experience it. Um, maybe do some extra things that we don't do here and, and more extensions to it. Uh, it teaches our students stewardship of uh, the streams. That, uh, you know, it's so important to keep the streams healthy. It goes beyond just people that fish. Uh, you know, when trout survive, it's a, a nice sign for the ecosystem that things are working and things are healthy, and everyone in the entire community benefits from having clean water in our community. Uh, you know, it would be great to expand it. I know that Mr. Andrews has talked to me over the last few years as far as uh, you know, we're probably three times the size we were when we were at the junior high school. Uh, it would be great to get the uh, course offered to more students but I know that's uh, a difficult thing to do, but that would be my goal as far as if we can expose more students uh, to the Trout in the Classroom curriculum, that would be very, uh, I think, helpful to everybody. Trout in the Classroom interests students of all ages. Everyone can learn to love something about the program. It's a great program that every school should try. A lot of hard work had to go into starting the Trout in the Classroom program, and thanks to the efforts of people like Joan Stollier, Amity Daniels, Mr. Andrews and anyone else that helped this program flourish, a lot of trout are swimming happily in their classrooms all around the country.